fellas, what's up? So we've got another little project to do for somebody. Got this little piece right here that I've got to machine. It is broken and will not work. So they asked me, could I make a new one? This is another one of those jobs that that came in that was uh, word of mouth. Somebody that I'd done a little bit of work for in the past was speaking to this gentleman and he says, hey man, you ought to go see Adam. He can make that for you. So he uh, he came by and see me and asked, is, is this something that I would do for him? And this is, uh, this is some kind of part for a lock that goes on a door. Some kind of custom made door on uh, a house out on the beach is all I was told. But it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a square looking piece. You've got two different size squares on the ends and you've got a larger square in the center here. You've got two areas that are turned down, turned down round. And then the squares are actually 45 degrees off of each other. The square that's on this end and this end are in line and the one in the center is actually 45 degrees away from these other ones. So we got to do a little bit of turning and then we'll have to set up and use the milling machine to do the mill and mill it down square. And this would be a job where you could use a dividing head or if you've got a simple indexer or a super spacer, you could use that. In my case, I'm going to use the super spacer because it just makes it easier and faster for me. I do have a tailstock with my spacer, so my plan is to machine it in the lathe, get, get the turning done, I'll have a center in the end, and then we'll set it in the mill and I'll be able to do all my milling at one time and then cut the piece off. So what we're going to use is this piece of stock here. This is some drill rod, 7 16 drill rod. It had a little bit of corrosion on it just from sitting around for so long, so I went ahead and scotch brighted it real quick. That's why it looks nice and pretty. But we're going to use this. I'm going to use the collet chuck and the Victor lathe and get the turning done. And then I'll be able to go over there and chuck it in the super spacer, put the, put the uh, tail stock in there, and come in here and do the milling and the indexing. So that's the plan for this morning. So, uh, all right, let's go do some machining. Okay, I've already faced it and center drilled it to kind of speed things up. You guys have seen that a million times. I did make me a little chicken scratch note right here so I wouldn't have to keep going back and measuring the part. All I did was put the diameters on here that I need to turn this to. Uh, this diameter here, the 437, that won't be machined because that's already 437, so I've got a machine. This end, the 375, this end of 375, and then we got two undercuts in the center that's 275 or 7 millimeter. And this part, this part, somebody made this already. I mean, this, this was a handmade part just like I'm doing here. And there, the sizing on it is a little bit a plus or minus here and there. It's hard to get an accurate reading on it. So I'm doing my best to do an average of what it should be, that I think it should be, and that's what I'm turning it to. So the, uh, the diameters that we're turning it right now will be for the outside corners of the squares, uh, specifically like down here and on this end. And then we'll have these two um, undercuts here, seven millimeter, okay? All right, I've already got my first link set. That's, uh, that's gonna be two and five eighths to this shoulder here, just like that. We'll come in here and make this undercut and then we'll come down on this end and turn this down. And uh, just using some uh, high-speed tool bit for this. All right, here we go. Okay, we ain't got a whole lot. We only got a sixteenth, so. Take a small cut. Ok, 
pretty good finish on there. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty good finish. Let's see what I hit. Okay, 406. 406. So we need 25, 30, 31 thousandths. We'll go ahead and take all that. All right, we've got this finished and that mic right on 375. We're good here. We've got to do an undercut here. That's 9 sixteenths wide down to 275, seven millimeters. So we got to take 100,000 saw. I'm going to use the parting tool, this insert tool to, to attempt this. And we may have to play with our speed on this. I'm going to try it at 600, but we may get some chattering in this. And I've already got an indicator set. That'll be my stop right there. So I'll uh, reverse my speed direction. Give it a shot. I ain't liking it too much. I'm just doing this by hand here. Right here is about 90 thousandths deep, so I'll make a cut here and we'll mic it. Just kind of leave it right there. Okay, nine and a half thousandths to go, so it was it was cutting on size. I think I'll take uh, well that shows ten right there. All right, let's just dial it nine. We might hit that with some memory to kind of clean it up, make the the finish look better. Again, I'm just I'm just doing this by hand right here. working it back and forth. All right, let me check it and see. All right, yeah, we got it. We got a thousandths to come off, so I'll hit that and polish it up. I'll make sure I get this shoulder cleaned up here. Okay, well, that, that looks all right. Okay, now we got to move on to the other side. I think we'll do more of the same. Okay, I've already got my stop set here. This is going to be one inch wide. I'm going to go ahead and use this tool bit to do my undercutting on this end also. 
Uh, we're just going to go ahead and hit our 375 diameter and then we'll come back and hit this area, bring it down to 7 mil. See what I'm where I'm at there. Okay, we got about twenty thousandths to go. Alright, that was just a ten thousandths cut. Not doing too bad. Alright, that leaves us with eight. We'll take a finished cut. What I'll do is I'll let it feed down to the end there and I'll reverse the uh, feed direction and let it come back to my zero here. All right. Didn't look like it was cutting much on that last pass there. Okay, one thousandths over. That's acceptable. I can hit that with the emery. Alright, so we got one more undercut here to make. And I'm going to go ahead and move my dial over to this side and go ahead and set it so Go ahead and set my zero on my depth. All right, we got a uh, nine sixteenths. I'm gonna back off just a touch there. Okay. All right, there's our zero. All right, we gotta take another hundred off. I'm glad I had my hand on that. I had to reverse my feed there. Been taking like 25,000 depth passes here. So this should leave us with about 30. I'm just going to uh, see. Just dial in a little bit there. That should leave us with a, a uh, finished pass to make. Beat it back by hand and kind of shave that little bit off there. Alright, that leaves us with 13 thousandths.
Well, hey. Doing some work over here. Yeah. All right, got to come back in and touch that just a little bit. Okay, I had a, my wife come out here to see me. Um, I went ahead and took another little shave off that and got it down closer. So I'm just going to chamfer all the corners here, and then I'll just hit it with some memory to kind of polish it up. burr here okay find some little strip of emery just get some of that oil off of it Alright guys, that should be it. I'm going to double check everything and I'm going to go set the mill up. Uh, so we'll do some milling next, okay? Alright, I'm just getting the, uh, the uh, tailstock set on the correct, the correct height and uh, I just did a quick, quick method. And what I did is uh, I brought it up into this piece here. This is a mandrel. It goes on another tool. It's got a nice center in there. And what I did was I brought the center in it like that and, and snug everything down, including the pinch bolts here. And I had, I, had, uh, I had this side a little bit high. So what I did with the center pushed in there nice and tight, I kept running my indicator back and forth the top of this and bumping this with my, with my lead until I was running uh, near zero across here. So I, with doing that and I tighten these up, I feel like I'm pretty pretty close to being center right there and it will work for the the stuff that I'm doing over here you just having to hold a, the center of a part while you're over here doing some milling and it'll work fine we've, we've always done it that way if you're if you're doing some really precision work then yes we need to come in here and make sure that that everything is on center and square and in line with each other uh, but just for simple little simple little jobs this is this is really nice right here that comes up and seats in that center good and i know that i'm very close all right fellas i think we're ready to start doing some milling i've been getting it all set up here i wanted to show you this we uh i think we hit our our height pretty good on this center and come up and touch that center it looks like we're right on so Hopefully that's uh, that's good to go right there. I'm going to go ahead and get these snug down and let's tighten up this tail stock. Oh, and I need to make sure I'm on zero too before I forget. Uh, we'll leave that backed out a little. Leave that back some. Go ahead and rotate it around. Uh, what mark do I want to use? I'm trying to decide on where I want to go here. I think I'm going to use the top. Come on, lock in. Okay. Put me a fresh mark on that thing so I can see it good. I'm not using the factory uh, zero point because it's on the other side. I've got some different marks on this uh, index plate here that I use for a zero point. So I like to line it up at the top sometimes. So we're at zero. 
Okay, this one and this one here, these two areas are going to be uh, 275 thousandths, or I believe that's 7 millimeter. So I'm going to mill these first, and when we get these done, we're going to index at 45, and then we'll start milling this one square here in the center. So uh, give me a few minutes, I'll be right back. All right, we're ready to roll. So we've got 100 thousandths to take off. You've got to split that in two, so we're taking 50 thousandths per side. What I'm going to do is touch off and take 45, and then rotate it 180, mill it, and then mic it and see where I'm at. I believe there's a little bit of tolerance on this thing. It looks like it fits kind of loosely in the part that it's going in, so I'm just going to try to hit my 7 millimeter size as close as I can. Just touching there, set my zero real quick. All right, brought it up 45. I'm coming, I'm going across like this because you can't come all the way over to the center. By the way, I do have this tight lock the pinch bolt here. Let me see, I got the spacer on zero and I got it locked. Let's get a little bit of coolant. Yeah, it's trying to flex on me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. 180. See if I can get in here. Okay, I'm at two eighty three, so eight thousandths. Okay. 284 right there. Five, about six thousandths. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it corrected to the right depth, and then we'll be able to uh, finish all of our our cuts. So let me let me cut these two sides again. And uh, we'll come down here and cut this. I'll, I'll bring it back here. I was finally able to get my sizing where I'm wanting. So I, I cut the third side there. And now we're going to rotate it. Go to 90. That'll be the last side for this end here. I'm 
using my hand because I need a little bit of uh, like a steady rest in here because this is a thin part. And it is trying to bow a little bit on me. Okay, 275. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to bring it down and cut this in now. Alright, I'm going to have to do some repositioning. I thought I'd give you a little better cam, a uh, different camera angle. Okay, so I'm on this end of it now. It'll be down here. I just got a little extra turn, so I had plenty to cut it off. And this is what I'm talking about. Is you know I believe somebody made this just like I'm doing here. This end down here is is a little bit bigger than the first end that I cut. And when I mic it, I'm getting 285. But I can see the wear pattern on the square where it's engaged with whatever it does here. So I know that this part fits, so I'm just going to shoot to make this in the same size as I got right here. Is, uh, you know, just going to go 285. So um, I reset my zero on the knee and, uh, and I brought it up 40,000. So we're going to take a couple cuts and, and uh, mic it. Get my mist built up again. There we go. By the way, I'm just doing some hand milling here. Try to get some room where I can get in here and mic it. Alright, I need 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm 13,000 shy. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so that's uh, what, six and a half? We didn't bring it up another six and a half. Okay, all right, we're six and a half. And repeat. We hit 285. That's what I want there. So, okay, two more sides on this one. One eighty. Tighten tail stock. Hit it one more time. Zero. Okay, two eighty five. All right. 
Okay, these two ends are done. Now we just got to do the middle. So uh, let me uh, stop this and we'll start over again. All right, down to the final stretch. Okay, so this center section is a little bigger than the ends. This is 10 millimeter. I'm sorry. 8 millimeter. That's going to be 8 millimeter, so that's 0.315. And the, uh, the part mic's right on. It's about 314. So we're just going to shoot for 315 here. All right, and I've already got it indexed. I started on zero with these, so I've got it indexed on 45 degrees on the super spacer up here. We've got it locked, locked. And I went ahead and just wrote me out a cheat sheet so I couldn't mess up. You know, so our first cut will be at 45, and then we'll rotate it to 135, 225, 315. That'll be our four cuts there. And uh, doing the math, we're sh we should be at about 61 thousandths per side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch off. I'm just gonna bring it up uh, 55. This is right in the center, so I'm getting a little bit of flex out here. So we're gonna, we're gonna hog most of it off, and we'll come back, and I'll take a, uh, a finished cut there. And uh, I just realized that thing might be blocking the, blocking the view of the cutter. So we'll try that there. All right. She's squeaking all right. Okay. Zero. We're going to get So I'm going to go to 225. That'll be opposite there. Okay. Looks good. Same thing. Let's check it. Mm, got a little too tight there. Okay, I got 10, 11, 12, 13 thousandths big. That's pretty well spot on considering the flex that it's getting. Check that. Okay, yeah, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, all right, that's going to be another six thousandths. But uh, I want to go ahead and rough the other two sides off, and then we'll come back and I'll make a finished cut. So, um, let me back up here to, uh, nah, it's just easier to go this way.
on 35. make sure that it's on par with the other two flats. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Alright guys, this will be my finished cuts on this center here. So I'm going to move it up six and a half. Six and a half, and uh, let me go back around it again and finish up these four, and I'll check it. All right, I went all the way around it again. All right, I'm getting 316, so I'm a thousandths big. That's the same, 316, so that, that's acceptable right there. I'll do, I'll, I'll use one of my fine files and we'll just do some dressing. I gotta deburr all the corners here and uh, we're about ready to go. I need to go to the saw and cut this thing off. All right guys, she's finished up and everything turned out pretty good for the most part, I think. Um, I'm glad to get it done. Uh, I spent a little bit more time on it than what I thought I was going to do, but that was because of the uh, having to get the, uh, the tailstock in order so I could use it and making a few more cuts on the mill than what I expected, but it turned out pretty good. Turned out good and I, I went ahead and buffed it with my scotch Bright wheel on my little angle grinder and as far as sizing goes, the, uh, the center, which I said well, I was going to finish at 315, all right, it's finished at 316 on both sides. <coughs> and uh, this piece here is actually 316. Measures 316 in the center. And let's see, on this end, I think we said we wanted 285. Yep, that's 285. All right, I got 285. 284 right there and on this end right here is where our, we hit our 275 square size because that's what it's uh, that's what it's mic on this one's 275 let me move your camera down and give you a closer shot of it okay there you have it not too bad Looks about like the original there. Alright guys, we'll see you later on. Catch you on the next job.